it's Ia and for today's video, gagawin natin is no makeup makeup look with Minimelly Cosmetics. Ito lahat yung products na Minimelly Cosmetics na binili ko. And hindi ko pa siya nagagamit. As in, parang ito na rin yung um, first impression video ko. Parang ganun. By the way, hindi to sponsor na Minimelly. This is lay-commended. Not sponsored, but lay-commended. If you don't know what lay-commended means, it, it's simply um, recommended products of Lay Ventimiglia. You can check out her profile. I will link it down below. And you can check out yung mga recommended products niya. And yung mga impressions niya and ratings. Ganon sa mga reviews sa mga products. If you don't know, Minimelly, if I'm not mistaken, it's a sister brand of Says Lady or Sassy Lady. I don't know how to pronounce it. Ayan. Ito yung mga binili ko. According to ano, the layway, itong mga to ang top 5 niya. I, I guess ito yung top 5 niya. Yung kasi ang sabi niya, yung primer, yung foundation, and yung pressed powder is the best skin-like trio. Let's try. Let's try these products kung talagang skin-like yung finish niya. And kung worth the hype nga ba siya. Now, without further ado, Let's move on to the video. First, mag sunscreen na tayo. Pero papalitan ko na rin yan kapag yun naubos na. Kasi naglilive siya ng white cast. And guess what? Pag naubos na yan, anong papalit ko? Recommended na sunscreen. So next, after natin mag sunscreen is, of course, primer. So this is the Minimelly for Invisible Primer. Ang ganda ng packaging niya. To be honest, maganda yung packaging nila. Ang cute. Tapos, hindi nagkukulang sa information nandito sa gilid. Ay, o, oh, dito sa gilid. Tapos, meron din sa likod kung kailan yung expi expiration niya, ganun. Tapos, ang ganda lang kasi matte yung ano and yung text niya parang nakastamp. Parang foil stamp ata to. And, walang malabong text. Kahit na maliliit siya, malinaw yung printing. So, Nakasulat dito, for invisible primer, tas yung benefits niya, this in advanced primer blurs imperfection, helps makeup last longer, blends the skin a matte finish, non-greasy, reduces the look of pores, fine lines, and uneven texture. So, ayun yung parang mga claims niya, ganun. So, andi dito din yung mga ingredients niya sa baba. So, eto siya, 20 ml yung kinakontain na tong primer na to. It doesn't feel cheap and it doesn't look cheap talaga. Makikita nyo, ayan yung color niya. Hindi siya kagaya nung fit me na clear. This is like medyo pinkish na white. Ganon. Try natin dito. May pagka-thick yung consistency niya and hindi, kung, hindi greasy nga. Walang naiwan na parang residue sa ano, fingers ko. So, nice. Ginan natin yung pag ina na siya. Oh! So, a little goes a long way. May amay siya. Pero hindi siya mabaho. Hindi rin siya sobrang bango. Yung consistency niya, it's thick. Pero kapag yung in-apply mo, yung parang feel niya sa skin mo, parang wala kang nilagay. Mas, mas ano pa, mas heavy pa yung feeling ng sunscreen ko kaysa dito. So, I like this one. Super light lang ng feeling. Parang wala kang nilagay. And hindi siya greasy talaga. Hindi, hindi din malagkit yung face mo. Hindi masyadong madulas. Parang skin mo lang talaga. Ang gagawin natin is magpa-foundation muna tayo. So, this foundation is also from Minimelly. This is the Longwear Foundation. 
yung nakasulat dito sa harap. Smooth, flawless finish, and oil control. I'm a bit oily, lalo na kapag nag-sunscreen ako. Talaga nag-oil up yung face ko. So, we'll see about that. Benefits, it is highly fluid and conformable. Covering skin blemishes, making pores easily invisible and long-lasting after applying makeup. So, titignan natin kung long-lasting siya, kung makakover niya yung mga imperf skin imperfections ko, or kung yung pores ko nga ay magiging slightly invisible. I got the shade 111. Nga pala. Ayan. So, yung tube niya is matte. Hindi, ayan. Matte siya. Ayan. Nakasulat matte soft foundation, medium coverage, UV protection, and lightweight. Hindi ko alam kung light ba to sa akin or dark. Pero, parang magbe-blend naman siya. So, sakto lang sa akin yung shade. Yung coverage niya, light to medium. Hindi siya full coverage. Makikita mo pa din yung mga, ano, yung mga konting blemishes. Walang naiwan. Maganda yun. Kasi diba yung ibang foundation kapag yun dito mo muna malalagay. May naiiwan. Dito wala. Tignan natin kung buildable siya. Kasi as in super light lang ng coverage niya. foundation ako dito sa part ng face ko. Dito sa part na to. So, parang wala. Maganda yung finish niya. Maganda. Ang galing kasi nag-blend talaga siya sa skin tone ko. Kahit na mukhang light siya. Hmm, gusto ko yung finish niya sa skin ko. Andun pa din yung glow. Hindi siya super matte. Which I like. Ayoko ng mattifying foundation foundation. So, I'll be using this beauty blender to seamlessly blend out my foundation. Concealer na tayo. This one is also from Minimally Cosmetics. This is the Full Cover Concealer. Long wearing, smooth texture, flawless finish. Ito 12ml lang. So, mas maliit siya. Tapos, yung ano niya, yung mga claims niya is Conceals and blurs imperfections with a naturally radiant finish while providing all-day crease-proof and color-true wear. So, tignan natin kung makukonceal niya talaga yung mga skin texture ko, ganyan. And kung hindi siya mag-crease sa, ano ko, under eye. Ito siya, white din siya. Kag, eto, parang yung packaging niya kagaya no primer. Ano siya? Parang shiny na plastic tube na white. This is only 12ml and I got the shade 02. Ayan na lahat yung i-conceal ko. Now it's time to blend it out. coverage check makikita natin yung lahat yung yung final performance nila kapag yung na set na and kapag yung nagtagal na yung makeup sa skin ko pero sa ngayon ibe-blend ko pa ng konti with my beauty blend contour muna tayo pero yung contour natin as in slight lang ganun we'll contour our face with Caroline contour stick
powder tayo mamaya. May glow pa din. Since pinkish to, and pinkish siya na ano, na highlight, pwede siyang mag-act as blush. Ganun. And ibiblend na lang natin ganyan. Para may extra glow maka. Tapos tayo sa mga cream product. set na natin yung face natin with also Minimelly Cosmetics pero yung pressed powder nila. This is the lightweight pressed powder in the shade 03. Yun yung kinuha kong shade. Yung claims niya ay medium coverage for long lasting makeup, the non-cracked formula for flawless natural matte makeup absorbs oil and removes shine. So, titignan natin kung magmumukhang flawless yung mukha ko kapag yung ginamit na natin tong face powder. And kung ma-absorb niya talaga yung oil. Ano kung paano niya ma-absorb yung oil? Or titignan natin kung ma- packaging. Ang ganda din. Pero it doesn't feel cheap. Kasi ang ganda. Ang ganda lang tignan. Parang ang sleek. It's also white and yung may parang plus siya dito or plastic. Tapos, pag in-open mo, hindi siya ayan, nag-click siya. So, hindi siya yung madaling madaling ma-open. Hindi siya loose. Ganon. Kahit na pag ginan yun, hindi siya loose. So, ayan siya. I'll be using this brush. Slightly dab it. decision natin maglagay nung highlighter blush na yun. Dito naman, sa kabila. Ayun o, natanggal niya agad, di ba? And, hindi siya yung cakey tignan, kahit na yung dun ko lang mismo nilagay yung nilagay ko lahat. Dun ko lang mismo nilagay yung kinuha ko. Kunwari, ayan, kukuha ko, di ba? Ayan. Tapos, ayan, shiny yung forehead ko. Wala na agad. And kapag tinignan ko, hindi siya cakey. Hindi siya yung nagta-texture sa face ko. Gets nyo ba? I'm loving all of the products I've tried from Minimally so far. Itong apat na to. Yung tatlo kanina and ito. I like them all. Kahit na yung damihan ko pa. Ayun no. Tapos, para talaga ako walang ano, nakalagay sa face. As in, hindi ko talaga feel. Uh, napaka lightweight. And, tignan nyo naman yung shade. As in, match na match. Kita nyo naman, parang wala talaga akong nilagay sa face ko. Parang ito parang yung mukha ko kanina. Less the redness, yung red spots, and yung dark under eyes. Ah, I love this. Wow. Parang, ang gagawin natin is magbabrowse tayo. I'll be using this Caroline Wow Brow Liner in the shade Almond. After that, gamit tayo ng brow soap. Next is, mag isaset natin yung contour natin kanina para mas makita siya. Magagamitin natin yung bronzer from Nicole Miller para lumabas yung parang sun kiss effect.
Okay, next. Ang gagamitin natin is blush. Ito yung last na minimally product na gagamitin natin for today. It says na it's lightweight, ultra fine, and richly pigmented. And yung sinasabi nila na richly pigmented, I believe it's true kasi yun din ang sabi ni Lady. Na as in, sabi niya, get the lighter shades kasi it's super pigmented, ganyan. Tapos, a silky powder blush that glides on smoothly with long-lasting, applies evenly, adheres lightly to the skin for a natural-looking application. Para sila ang packaging. Ayan din, yung sticker sa likod. So, nothing else to say. And, ayan. Let's see kung gaano nga siya kapignitin. See that? Parehong-pareho. Isang dip lang yun na ah. Oh. Isang swipe. Pangalawang swipe. Pangatlong swipe. Ah. Ang pigmented niya talaga. Kaya, we'll be careful with this. I'm going to use this brush. Slightly dip the brush on the pan. Kasi nga super pigmented. Top of the excess na. Mmm! Pigmented nga. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Ang pigmented nga nga. Tapos natin yung excess. Okay. Grabe yung pigment niya. Kailangan ko blend Mabilis ka mag-blend. It for the face makeup now. Moving on tayo sa mascara, my favorite thing. I'll be using this Maybelline Hypercolor Mascara, my holy grail mascara. As in, nakukuha ko dito fake lashes. Ayan, ito yung walang, ano, walang mascara. Ito yung nilagyan ko. I won't stop there dahil sobra-sobra ang mag-mascara. Now on to our lips. I have this lip liner from Beauty Concepts. And I want ko anong shade to pero ayan siya. May lips but better na ano. it off with my overused and favorite lipstick from Maybelline. In the shade Spice for me, gagawin ko is parang dadab-dab ko lang siya dyan. Ganyan lang. So, final thoughts on all these minimally products that I got. Um, first, the primer. It is non-greasy. In my experience, it's not giving me a matte finish. Pero I still like it. It did blur my some of my imperfections like my huge pores around here. And yung consistency. Thick, siya, thick yung consistency niya at first. Pero kapag nilagay mo super lightweight, I would recommend this product. I would give this 8.5 out of 10. Next is their long wear foundation. It is lightweight. It has coverage and it is kind of buildable. Parang kapag yung medyo marami kang nilagay na product, tapos binuild up mo sa isang spot, makikita mo naman talaga na may nagagawa siya. Yung shade, kahit na yung unang swipe ko, parang ang light nung shade sa akin. Pero, nag-blend siya, and ang ganda. Ang ganda ng finish niya. 8 out of 10, it could do better, pero, I still recommend this, and I would reach for this every time I do my makeup. Their full cover concealer, it's light, co light to medium coverage lang siya, and lightweight. Tapos, yung ano niya, yung, yung crease proof. 
let's see nga pala. So, hindi siya crease proof. Yung finish niya, medyo maganda naman. Hindi siya yung parang nag-brighten up dito na grayish yung finish. Hindi siya ganun. Kaya, I like this one. And I would recommend this lightweight, light to medium coverage. Um, pang everyday, 7 out of 10. Their pressed powder. Check yan lahat. Kasi, na-cover niya naman yung, di ba nga, may parang, nung nag-conceal ako, tas binlen ko, medyo nakikita pa rin yung redness. Pero nung nag-powder ako, wala na lahat. Yung shine, wala. Tapos, yung parang oil ko dito, wala. Natanggal niya yun. Na-eliminate niya. And, I like the finish. It's super lightweight. It's skin, skin-like texture yung nabigay niya. Ito talaga yung parang icing of the cake. This is a 10 out of 10 and I super duper duper recommend this if you want to try like yung parang natural makeup skin like makeup. Kahit hindi kayo mag foundation, I feel na mag maganda pa rin yung finish nito sa skin. Super recommend this. Parang ito talaga yung game changer. Lastly, there blush powder. Richly pigmented. Nakita nyo naman yung reaction ko nung pagkaganon ko nung unang swipe ng yung unang dip ko. Tapos ginanon ko, diba? Super pigmented. I like this one. This is a 10 out of 10 also. Kahit na super pigmented niya, a little goes a long way. It will last you forever. And super recommend this one. Final overall rating ko sa Minimally Cosmetics is a 10 out of 10. It's cheap, it's affordable, but the quality is super duper nice and you're getting more than what you paid for and tamang tama talaga yung mga sinasabi ni Lay and you can really trust her kasi this one I tried. Sinabi niya, best skin like trio yung primer foundation and powder it is the best skin like trio minimally 10 out of 10 and that's it for this video guys thank you for watching i enjoyed doing this look and i hope you also enjoyed watching me do this look if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to try out the products that i used in this video everything will be linked down below including uh, Lay's profile so you can check all her records. If you have any video suggestions, please feel free to comment it down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!